geometric progressions quantities are said to be in geometric progression or gp when they increase or decrease by a constant factor the constant factor is also called the common ratio and it is found by dividing any term by the term immediately preceding it if we examine the series a ar ar square ar cube and so on we notice that it is in geometric progressions because on dividing any term with any term that immediately precedes it we get a constant factor in this case the constant factor is r also notice the number of the terms in the series t1 t2 t3 t4 and so on we notice that in any term the index of r is always less by 1 than the number of the term in the series for example for the first term the index of r is 0 for the second term the index of r is 1 for the third term the index of r is 2 and so on from this we can conclude that if n is the number of terms and tn denotes the nth term then we can determine the nth term of the series using the formula tn is equal to a into r to the power of n minus 1 an example for a gp is 2 4 8 16 32 and so on what is the common ratio in this case all we have to do is divide a number by the number preceding it here 8 divided by 4 gives us 2 hence the common ratio is 2 note that when taking any three quantities which are in geometric progression the middle value is called the geometric mean between the other two For example, let's take 4, 8 and 16 which are consecutive terms of this geometric progression. 8 is said to be the geometric mean of 4 and 16. In general, geometric mean of two numbers is the root of the product of the two numbers. To verify, let us consider 4 to be a and 16 to be our b. The product of a and b is 4 into 16 which is 64. the geometric mean would be the root of this value which is root 64 which is 8 and this can be verified in some questions based on geometric progressions you would be asked to determine three numbers which are in geometric progression in such cases it is better if we assume the three numbers to be a by r r and ar sum of first n terms of a gp let a be the first term r be the common ratio and n be the number of terms of a geometric progression then if sn denotes the sum up to n terms of a gp then the formula is given by sn is equal to a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 A special case of the above sum is when r is smaller than one, that is, the geometric series is decreasing, and when it extends to infinity. In this case, n is equal to infinity. Hence, s of infinity is equal to a into r power infinity minus one divided by r minus one. Now, since r is a value less than one. r power infinity will tend to zero hence the sum of terms of infinitely long decreasing series is s infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r the reason being r is lesser than 1